Look at it. Oh, there's a kitty. Kitty, kitty. You don't like this. <laughs> hey, folks. Um, welcome to my channel, uh, Dooney Bird. My name is Rachel Pierce, and... Uh, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, go ahead and subscribe if you're interested. Uh, I talk about TV and overanalyzed media and failing and adulting life lessons, things, and sometimes I sing, and sometimes we talk about whatever this is going to be. I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, yeah. That. To tell the truth, I really don't know how to start this video. Or what to say. I have some notes, but the question is, do I want to use my YouTube channel, my Twitter account, my social media platforms that I have to be politically or socially active? Um, and I've been thinking about this for weeks now, and I still have no idea. I feel like I'm at a decision point in my channel where I could go and be socially and politically active online, on the internet, and just see what comes of that and see how people respond to that and be okay with whatever they say and whatever they respond. But I also feel like I could very easily just not. <laughs> Um, I love spreading hope and positivity and that's what I want a lot of my channel and my brand to be, so why bother with the political stuff? Why not just be super positive and kind of like escapism, but with YouTube? That would include never mentioning politics, never talking about things that could potentially be controversial, and only um, talking about, I don't know, I guess that's part of the issue, is that so much of my life and so much of the things that I think about and I think are worth talking about are things that are political or controversial in nature. And the truth is that I'm scared to put any real opinions on the internet. I'm fine, I'm fine having opinions about TV and life and religion even, but I'm scared to have political opinions that people might disagree with. I want to be clear here. I'm not scared of like any one particular political party or group with it, this whatever political agenda. I'm scared that my opinions and my thoughts and my feelings won't be enough for the people that I do agree with while simultaneously being too much for the people who disagree with me. I'm afraid of being caught in the middle. Because I was raised in a very conservative household and now live in a very liberal environment. And it's it's allowed me to be able to see both sides of almost every issue. I don't always agree with the reasoning that I see, but I can always find 
the reasoning that whichever person I'm disagreeing with has. There are so many issues where I am more moderate than so many of my friends, especially my online friends, while also being much, much more radical than my family and then other people that I interact with on a day-to-day -day basis and love so much. And I think that that's the problem, is that I love people on both sides. I don't know that problem is really the right word for that. I'm scared of being ostracized and I'm scared of not being approachable because that's what I really want. I want anyone from any background to feel comfortable coming to me and disagreeing with me as long as they're disagreeing with me respectfully. I want so badly to be able to have conversations with people and I don't want to create an echo chamber for myself where the only people I'm having conversations with are people that I agree with. I want to be able to respect people and respect that they don't agree with me. And that's not something that I've seen a lot of online. And honestly, it's not something that I've seen a lot of in person either. What I want is to create a space where we can have a discussion and a conversation regardless of our opinions being different. I don't know if what I'm envisioning in my brain is actually possible. And I don't know how to find out without just doing it and facing the very real possibility of falling on my face in failure, which is terrifying. But I also feel like I need to try. So to close out this conversation, um, I would love to hear from you guys. I always love hearing from you. I specifically want to know if you think that you could be friends with someone that you disagree with um, and to what degree you have to, you think that you should agree with people who you are in relationship with. Um, Cause I definitely think that yes, you can be friends with people that you disagree with things on, but there's also kind of a line. So can you be friends with people that you disagree with? And where is the line of agreement that you, you must agree on these things in order to be friends? with someone. Um, be really curious to find that out from you guys. Uh, yeah, so it's been so lovely talking with you today and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Just has only just